Hexham Swamp Rehabilitation Project has involved reinstating tidal flows into Ironbark Creek with the aim to restore a minimum of 600 hectares of estuarine wetlands. The Hexham Swamp area is quite vast. It covers almost 2,000 hectares and part of the Hunter Wetlands National Park is included in this area. The floodgates were installed in 1971 and this was part of the Hunter Valley Flood Mitigation Scheme. The aim of the gates being installed was to prevent flood water from the Hunter River entering into the creek and pushing back into Walls End Catchment. However, the gates remained almost constantly closed for many years. This effectively drained the swamp and it transitioned into a freshwater system. A vegetation survey conducted in 2002 indicated drastic changes in the original vegetation types. 180 hectares of mangroves had reduced to 22, 600 hectares of salt marsh had reduced to only 6 hectares and the Phragmites, the freshwater reed, had increased to almost 1,000 hectares, covering half the swamp. After 12 years of planning, negotiation, environmental studies, the Department of Planning, New South Wales, approved the opening of the floodgates in 2006. Floodgates were progressively opened from 2008 to 2014 in four stages to gradually bring back the salt water into the swamp. If we look at the pictures of this creek 30 years ago, you wouldn't believe it was the same place it is today. It was a system that was totally fresh water with really poor water quality and a very low abundance and diversity of native species. Reopening the floodgates has allowed salt water to move back into the system to create a more estuarine environment. And with that salt water has come a whole range of species. We're seeing those species today in the work that we're doing. We've got our team here today taking water quality measurements and using a seine net to circle around and sample the fish and crustaceans that are here. And what we're finding is a whole range of species, including a number of commercially important species. Those are things like Eastern King prawns, school prawns, yellowfin brim, flat tail mullet, and some other smaller species that contribute to the overall abundance and diversity of the fish fauna here. Perhaps the biggest changes that I've seen over this time has been the vegetation. So even where I'm standing now today, before the floodgates were opened, this was clear land behind me. There weren't any mangroves. Half the swamp was almost overtaken with the freshwater reed. So this area now, across the middle of the swamp, is a beautiful mosaic of habitats, including salt marsh, open water, and mud flats. Really important habitats for water birds in particular. Migratory water birds that utilise Hexham Swamp fly from as far as the Northern Hemisphere for the summer migration. One of these species which is here in Hexham this summer is the sharp-tailed sandpiper. This species will spend about six months here in the wetlands, utilising open water and mud flats to feed and build up their energy for the long journey, thousands of kilometres back to Arctic Siberia. The salt marsh is a highly valuable habitat and it is listed as an endangered ecological community that we are required to protect. So it feels really amazing to be part of a project that's taken something from essentially a wasteland to a really thriving ecosystem. That's really cool. As a fisheries biologist, it's always great to see those sorts of projects come to fruition after a lot of years of, of hard work from everybody who's been involved. New South Wales DPI Fisheries has been working at this site since 2008 before the floodgates were reopened. And so what we're seeing in our samples and in the data that we're gathering is a really big difference in the type of fish and crustacean communities that are present here. And what that information tells us together with information on the vegetation changes is that the system is really transitioning back to something that's really had life breathed back into it with this reopening of the floodgates. We're seeing a lot of commercially important species use this area as a nursery. They're then able to move back down through the floodgates into the main part of the Hunter River and be part of that commercial industry in terms of fishing, but also recreational fishing. So opening these floodgates basically means better fishing, better habitats, and a higher quality of water and an environment in general for the Hunter region. Into the future, Hunter Local Land Services will continue to run the environmental monitoring program for Hexham Swamp. We're seeing huge impacts already with the salt water coming back 
but we also expect to see this to continue and catches in marine species of fish and prawns an increased number of migratory waders is expected into the future. A successful outcome of the project has seen a pair of black neck storks take up residence here in the swamp and raise two juveniles. This species is endangered in New South Wales, originating from far north Queensland. To be involved in this from the start and see this transition and successful outcome has been hugely rewarding. By bringing back the tidal flow, the swamp is transitioning back into its healthy, productive state, its original condition before floodgates were installed. The entire wetland is returning to its former glory.